All right, I think that was the doorbell. Let's see if they're here. Nobody here. Where? Are you? Oh, there it is. I think I found you. All right, let's bring this in. slicing device. Let's open her up. Okay. Let's take this upstairs and let's unbox it. Alrighty. Here it is. Been waiting a long, long time for this. Honey badger. Or just they call the badger unleashed now, so they've gotten rid of the honey part, so it's not so sweet anymore. But I've got my old honey badger here, honey badger 320, and we just just picked this up as you saw from the front door. So let's see what's inside. All right, whoop. Some cables. There it is. So this is the badger unleashed, which is the battery powered version of the honey badger. Always keep these silica gels around. They will be good for your camera bag. So I'm looking at first first impression, first thought of this thing is that it's pretty light, nice and small. And I've got my old one here to kind of compare and you can see that it's, it's like only an inch longer, which is pretty cool. But this thing here has got the battery, which is in the box here. Let's pop this in. So a nice small battery. Pops right in. Now it's battery powered. Let's pop this thing off here. This thing is a 250 watt second monolight. And I'm gonna, oh, here's the, the on switch has actually been moved to the bottom now compared to the, the top. And you can see the display is actually a little bit bigger, which is kind of cool than the old version. Buttons look a little bit different, but this thing now has TTL and high speed sync. Actually, the modeling light is on. How do I turn that one off? Here we go. Let's get the modeling light. Super bright modeling light. Now the other chopstick I mark always loves that beep. I can't stand the beep, so I turn that thing off first thing. But let's just give it a test, yes. So it's got a dial now, rather than the buttons that you go up and down. So, yeah, it's bright and it's fast. So fast to recycle. Um, pretty sweet thing here. Here's a USB charger. So you can charge the battery, looks like via USB. And uh, all those good things. So pretty sweet little light. I'm really looking forward to putting this thing together here. I think, let's see what this is. This might be the, the charging unit actually for the battery. We've got some other cables in here too. What do we got? Looks like a sink cable. Ooh, and I think that's uh, that's the whole shebang. So let me power, power this thing back off here again. Oh yes, on the bottom. Pop out this battery. Let's see how we charge this thing. So we just simply plug in the charger and away we go. So a pretty sweet little light. Really looking forward to uh, putting it through its paces. But uh, yeah, I, the thing that we're so excited about these, so you know we use our S1s all the time. But uh, having something that's a little bit smaller, something I can actually pop right in my camera bag, handhold, super easy. Uh, you guys have probably seen the, the new Profoto B1 lights that have just come out, pretty slick little light. This thing, other than being a different shape, is the same size, same power, but one-fifth the cost. So actually, you can buy five of these for the price of one Profoto. Uh, but then with the Profoto, you have to get that $400 air remote. The remotes for these, for universal remotes, are $79 bucks or $99 for the interfit, uh, ca camera compatible remote. But uh, pretty sweet. I'm just really loving that the fact that we can bring these outdoors now, use them in the field. Going to be so nice. We actually just did a, a review of the Honey Badger using the Interfit Nomad. You can check that out on our channel. The Nomad battery pack, which was fantastic. If you need to, if you already got a set, set of Honey Badgers and you want some power to use outdoors, definitely check out the Nomad. If you're just looking for lights right now, this thing, I can't wait, cannot wait to put it through its paces. So I'm gonna go and charge up the battery and uh, go out and take some pictures. But 
just awesome. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tour of this brand new light. Um, I like to say, I can't wait, cannot wait to put through spaces. This is the kind of light that we've been waiting for for a long time. Uh, got a ratcheting mount on it, pretty cool. We've been waiting for this kind of light for a long time. All of our shoots, we, we rarely shoot in the studio for photography, we do sometimes, but most of the stuff is on location. Living here in Northern California, we have the advantage of just beautiful nature scenes. Uh, when you can add something like this in with that, you're, you've got a winner. So let me uh, go out and take some shots and uh, we'll see what we come up with. We are gonna be planning on doing a couple full reviews on the Badger Unleashed and putting it through its paces and we'll push them pretty hard. We wanna see what these things can do, but uh, very, very, very excited about these things. All right, let's go out and take some pictures. <laughs> 